Today I am going to teach you what is inverse function. Before defining this inverse function, I would like to show you some examples of function. So in class 9, we have studied that uh, four type of function we have studied. The first one was number A. Let us take one example. This a function one two three a b c one two a two two b three two c this is one function this is one two one and two function similarly b another function is another type i will i'll make one example one two three a b one and a two to b three to also b so this is many to one on two function third one third type is like this one two three a b c d one a two b three c d is extra element so it is one to one into function Number D, the fourth one, is like this. 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, 1 and A, 2 and A, 3 and B, C is extra. So this is many to 1 into function. So all together is 1 to A, 2 to A, 3 to B and C is extra. So this is many to 1 into function. Now I would like to interchange domain and range. Here, domain A, this is set A, set B. A is domain, B is codomain. Here also A, B, A, B, A, B. All these four type of functions are from set A to set B. Now, if I interchange, if I interchange domain and codomain, of these two, these four functions, then what will happen? Let us draw here this one like this B and A. This is set B, set A. Here, see A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. A to 1, B to 2, C to 3. Similarly, here also, if you interchange, it will be like this here. A, B, 1, 2, 3, A to 1, and this one, look at it, 2 to B, 3 to B, then B to 2, B to 3. Similarly, this is set A, this is set B. Now here, third one, third one also, let us interchange, A, B, C, D, here 1, 2, 3, 1 and A, A to 1. 2 to B, so B to 2, 3 to C, so C to 3, like this. Now D is extra here. See this is set B and this is set A. Let us set B and set A. Similarly, the fourth one, let us draw this fourth one also, interchanging. Set B, set A, A, B, C, here 1, 2, 3. So 1 to A. So A to 1, 2 to B, uh, 2 to A, so 2 to A, A, A to 2, 3 to B to B to 3, C is extra here. So now what about this 4 now? The first one, B to A, 1 to A, A to 1, B to 2, C to 3. This is also 1, 2, 1. On two function. This one A to one, B to two and B to three. B has two elements, two images. So if one element in the domain has more than one image, then it is not a function. Not a function. Similarly here, the ele element D has no image. 
if one of the element if any one element has no image in a relation then it is not a function not a function so here a has two images it is not a function due to this and c has no image so by this also it is not a function so not a function so only one type a has a if you interchange the domain and codomain also it will be a function so that here inverse function is possible only if it is one to one unto so if one to one many to one unto it is not a function here in case of one to one into not a function if we interchange it is not a function if we interchange here in many to one into here also not a function so only in case of one to one undo function if you interchange the domain and go domain it will again become a function so inverse exists only in one to one undo function so therefore we can define inverse function like this now now definition let's see definition of inverse function definition of look at here we can define in uh, inverse function in this way if if f is a one to one undo function undo function then the inverse function function of function f is a new function new function obtained by interchanging interchanging the elements of order pair order pair of f for example here in number a we have got 1 comma a 2 comma b 3 comma c this is function f f equals to this much then f inverse equals to interchange the elements a comma 1 b comma 2 c comma 3 so this is the inverse function of function f so inverse function is denoted by f inverse like this not only really this much now one more thing i will tell you here what will happen if you find inverse of inverse function again inverse of inverse function if you find again f inverse again inverse this will be equals to always the initial function f how look at here now if we interchange the element of f inverse here again then f inverse of inverse uh, inverse of inverse is equals to 1a 2b uh, 3c now this is equals to f f also same rule c 
here also one a two b three c. If you find inverse interchange this one, you will get this one a one b two c three. Now again, if you find the inverse of this function f inverse, then we can interchange the element of a one b two c three will in interchange. Then you will get one a one a two b three c, which is f. So therefore f inverse of inverse inverse of f inverse is always f original function f okay in this way we can define inverse function i think you might have understood about this thank you for watching this video